Okay, welcome back. Um, question number six from the Mechanics 1, January 2020, International A-Level paper. Um, a force F is given by F equals 10 I plus J Newtons. Find the exact value of the magnitude of F. Okay, so we know that the force is 10 I plus J Newtons. So the magnitude of F is going to be basically the square root of the square of the I component plus the square of the J component, which is going to give you the square root of 101 and the exact value and there we have it the answer simple as that okay then it's got part b you can make some more space here okay then it says find in degrees the size of the angle between the direction of f and the direction of the vector i plus j okay now the um, the direction of i plus j first just imagine you have an origin now, i plus j, it's going to be the same direction horizontally as it is vertically. So it will be, the direction of i, I plus j will be something like this. Okay, that will be its direction. It will be exactly 45 degrees. Okay, because you'll have one unit going this way and one unit going that way. And so that angle will be 45 degrees. Okay. And our... Force F is 10I plus J. So 10I plus J, you're going to have 10 units horizontally and one unit vertically. So it will have, will look something like this. It'll be kind of like a, a small angle there. That's the angle that's formed between 10I plus J. Okay, that's 10I plus J. Okay, that's the angle made with the, you can say with the X axis or the horizontal. So they want you to find the angle between F, so this is the direction of F, and this is the direction of I plus J. They want you to find the angle between them, which is the angle over here. This is the angle that they're asking you to find, the angle between those two. So the total angle is 45, the whole thing is 45, and we want to find what this angle is. Let's call it angle X. So I know for angle X, this is 10I, so this is 10, and this is 1J, so this is 1. So the angle X, let's say the tan of angle X is opposite over hypotenuse. So X, that's a 10, X is equal to inverse tan of 1 over 10. Okay, so we'll just get the calculator. So you have inverse tan of 1 over 10, which is 0 0.1. That gives you 5. Yeah, 5.71 degrees. Just making sure I'm in degree mode I am, yeah. So x is, x is equal to 5.71 degrees. So the angle x is 5.712 degrees. Well, that's not the angle that we're looking for. We're looking for this angle over here. Okay, so the angle that we're looking for, this angle, is going to be 45 so the angle the angle between f and direction of i plus j is equal to 45 degrees minus 5.712 degrees so we just take away 45 we take away that from 45 we found so 39.289 39.289 degrees 39.289 degrees which there's nothing mentioned here so 3SF would be best 39.3 let me write that a bit clearer clearly 39.3 degrees would be the size of the angle so there we have the angle um, X uh, the angle that we're trying to find here, which is angle between I plus J and the force F, the angle between those directions. Then it says the resultant of the force F, um, the resultant of the force and the force minus 15 I plus AJ Newtons, where A is a constant, is parallel to, but in opposite direction to, the vector 2I minus 3J. 
So remember the force F was 10I plus J Newtons. Okay, if I just make sure that's correct. 10I plus J Newtons, that's right. Okay, so the resultant of the force and this force. So that means the resultant is going to be when you add them together. So when you have 10I plus J, so I'm going to write this as a column vector to make life easier. That's the force F plus minus 15I and AJ. So that's the resultant of these forces. And it's equal to, um, or it's parallel to, so it's some constant, some multiple of, so let's go K times, um, not this vector, but the direction which is opposite to, to this vector. So 2I plus 3J, uh, 2I minus 3J is like this, 2I minus 3J. So the op that would be the direction that, that we get here, 2i minus 3j. So for us to go from here to here, the opposite direction would be a minus 2i and plus 3j. So minus 2i and plus 3j would be the vector going in the opposite direction. Okay, so the resultant of these two forces gives us the resultant vector which is parallel to this vector. Okay, so it's a constant or multiple of um, the opposite direction of this vector. So it's 2 and minus, minus 2 and 3. Okay, so now I can form a pair of equations and solve to find what A is. So I've got 10 minus 15 is equal to minus 2K. And I have 1 plus A is equal to 3 times K. Okay, so if I take this and I find what K is, you've got 10 minus 15, which is minus 5, equals minus 2K. That means K is equal to... 5 over 2. That's the value of k. All right, And we know we can therefore find what a is. a is going to be 3 times k minus 1. So it's 3 times 5 over 2 minus 1, which gives you 15 over 2 minus 2 over 2, which is 11 over 2. So the value of a is 11 over 2. Uh, 15 minus, sorry, 13 over 2. What am I talking about? Silly me. 15 minus 2 is 13. 13 over 2. So like 6.5, something like that. A is equal to 13 over 2, which is 6.5. You can leave it like that. That's fine. Okay, so there we have the answer to part C. And that's question number 6 completed.